Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is differentiation. This is implicit differentiation example 1. Our requirement reads, find the derivative of y with respect to x in terms of x and y, where x to the power of 3 plus x plus y to the power of 3 plus 3y equals 6. This is an example of an implicit function. In an explicit function, the function is set with y as the subject or can be manipulated so that y is the subject. In this case, we're not able to do that. We're dealing with an implicit function. We have an algorithm. Let's follow the algorithm. Step 1, differentiate all terms with respect to x. Now in this function, some of the terms are y functions, some of the terms are x functions. For the terms that are y functions, we need to move to step 2. Use chain rule to differentiate f of y. In the upper right hand corner, I'm showing how we apply the chain rule to differentiate function of y with respect to x. What we've done up to this point is differentiate functions of x with respect to x. Now we're differentiating sometimes functions of x with respect to x in this example. In other instances, we're differentiating functions of y with respect to x. The result is the derivative of the function of y times dy over dx. So let's work through steps 1 and 2. 1. Differentiate all terms with respect to x. Our first term is x to the power of 3. That's an x function. We'll differentiate to 3x to the power of 2. Our next term, plus x, is also an x function. We'll differentiate to 1. The third term is a y function, y to the power of 3. So we're going to apply the chain rule to differentiate y to the power of 3 with respect to x. y to the power of 3 differentiates to 3y squared. Applying the chain rule, we'll multiply by dy over dx. And our fourth term is also a y function. 3y differentiates to 3 and we'll multiply by dy over dx. So before continuing to the right side of the equation, notice that in the third and fourth terms of the left side of the equation, which are both y functions, we've differentiated and in differentiating with respect to x, we also multiply by dy over dx. And the right side of the equation equals 6. 6 is a constant. The derivative of 6 is 0. So we've done step 1 of the algorithm. And in two cases, the y functions, we've also done step 2. Moving on to step 3 make dy over dx subject of equation. Let's keep the dy over dx terms on one side of the equation, move all other terms to the other side of the equation. So we'll keep 3y squared times dy over dx plus 3 times dy over dx on the left. We'll move to the right 3x squared, which will become negative 3x squared and plus 1, which will become minus 1. Continuing to simplify, we can factor out of the two terms on the left side of the equation, dy over dx. We'll be left with, in the first term, 3y squared. The second term, plus 3. And the right side of the equation remains minus 3x squared minus 1. Finally, we're going to divide both sides by 3y squared plus 3. 3y squared plus 3 in the numerator and denominator will eliminate on the left. The left side of the equation is dy over dx. The right side of the equation is negative 3x squared minus 1 over 3y squared plus 3. Step 4. If required, calculate slope at given point. We haven't been given a point at which to calculate the slope. So in this case, we've completed our requirements. 
Note that in an example in which we're calculating slope at a given point, we need not only an x value, that's what we're normally given to calculate slope at a given point, we also need the y value. We need an x and y coordinate to input into the implicit derivative to calculate the slope at that particular point. In this case, we're not asked to perform a slope calculation. We've completed our requirements. This concludes implicit differentiation example one.